Oh, hey guys. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the Flyway. Pretty excited to put this together. We've had a ton of questions over the last year and a half about like, okay, how do I tune a duck call? How do I blow a quack? How do I put together a, a greeting series? How do I blow a goose call? Um, so this series that we're gonna put together, it's gonna be all sorts of different videos having to do with, with that exact thing. All the questions you guys have been asking, and we're gonna try and answer them the best of our ability to make you guys a better caller this season in the field, help your buddies out, kill more ducks, kill more geese, have a better time. So um, this first video we're gonna do is the difference between a, a single read and a double read. And then the next one, we're gonna just follow with like how to tune a duck call and then how to blow a greeting sequence. So you'll just kind of keep coming back each week and checking out what we put together. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this first one and uh, can't wait to make some more. Uh, today, we're gonna tackle the question about like what's the difference between a single read and a double read? And we get those questions all the time, like what call should I blow? What call will fit me better? So we're gonna dive into the difference between them, like the mechanics and then how to produce the perfect quack. So. Starting off, um, the single read duck call obviously has got, got one single read on your, on your tone board there, whereas a double read has two. The biggest differences is gonna be the way you present the air and then the different sounds you can achieve from the different calls. Um, it's gonna take a little bit more air at times to run a double read because you're having to vibrate both reads, whereas a single read might take a little bit less. It also has to, you know, has to do with the, how they're tuned. But a double read, you've got two reads working together, vibrating at the same time. Um, you'll notice like this is our, our slick trick uh, double read. You'll notice that the top read has like a, a flare to the top. We actually bend that top read up to give it more lift. You want both those reads vibrating together and not as one. So this kind of makes them, it makes where they, they separate. And then when you're blowing your call, there's another, another, another thing you want to look at. Always make sure that the read is down when, 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 you're, when you're blowing it. You want that air to pick those, those reeds off the tone board instead of pushing them down on the tone board. Um, it totally takes away the problem of sticking and uh, give you a lot better tone throughout the entire, uh, the entire sequence. So yeah, definitely make sure you're blowing with the reeds down. Um, a single reed myself, like that's the call that I'm gonna blow you know, year in, year out. But I started on double read. I started off my first couple of years blowing a double read because a lot of the tone is built into the call. I'll go ahead and sample one real quick here, but I'm just blowing super, super clean air, um, hot air from my diaphragm. It's the, it's the type of air, like if you're gonna fog up a, a window, I'm not, I'm not blowing out candles. I'm fogging up a, a window. So um, here's, here's the sound of a double read. A lot of tone, a lot of duck built into the call. Like I said, I'm not putting any guttural sound, I'm not putting any like voice into the call. It's all built into the call. And you can get really quiet and soft if, if that's something you wanna do. Uh, the difference, we'll pick up single read here. This is our Game Changer XL. Um, again, I got that read down. You'll notice a lot more volume and a little, I get a lot more like, like what I would call technical type notes. Um, I'll just go ahead and kind of run through the sound spectrum. So again, you'll see a little more volume. I can get a lot more, uh, a wider range of notes. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we're gonna have more videos coming as well. Uh, so just check in all summer. And uh, if you enjoyed it, you know, share with a friend and, and uh, please subscribe. We, we appreciate everything.